Hi everybody, Creative Katie, Karen Virtual here, and today I'm doing another out with the old, in with the new DIY. Hi everybody, Creative Katie, Karen Virtual here. Today I am doing another out with the old, in with the new video. In the past, I created my own sprays using Wilton gel colorant. Now, why did I get rid of them? Well, it wasn't because they weren't good. These sprays that I made, and I'll put a link to that video, lasted. They were still as good as the day I made them. The only thing is I'm not using them and the number one reason that I'm not using them is because I prefer working with mediums that are permanent. That I do not have to worry about reactivating with water or sealing if I'm doing them on a canvas. And now, especially since I do a lot of work on canvas where I'm varnishing it at the end, I don't want to have to use a spray fixative. I don't want to have to remember. If I use these in a stash builder where I'm building up colored papers or the like, I don't want to have to remember, oh, those were this and it's going to reactivate and if I use them, then they're going to make a mess. So it's all about how I'm using them. But for the money, these work extremely well. They lasted more than three years. I did make some nice pages. You get vibrant colors. You can mix and match the colors to make your own custom colors. And it's fairly inexpensive, especially if you get together with, you know, these you can actually A, buy at a, do a, a dollar store. So rel relatively inexp inexpensive. Or you get together with a friend and a little goes a long way. So again, check out that video if that's something that interests you. But what I'm going to use, because I have them in my stash and I haven't used them, I bought the Muted Liquitex Acrylic Inks. Now they are highly pigmented. They are permanent when dry. So I bought these and I've attempted using them a couple times and it's not working out. So they're sitting in my stash. So I'm thinking, you know, I like sprays. I like the effect that you can get with sprays and combining it with stencils. I wonder if I can use these. Now, in the past, I have taken my Martha Stewart pearlized paints and I have mixed, I've shown this in a video, I have mixed this with water and put it in one of these and sprayed and it lasts for a short time but I found that it did clog up the sprayer after a while. So I ended up not using it. Now if I was going to do with these or regular acrylics, I would mix up just a minimum amount and I wouldn't store it. If that makes sense. So what I'm hoping to do, what I'm planning on doing is using these inks. Now one, they're highly pigmented. There is less, I think, filler you know, definitely then craft paints and, and the like. So I'm thinking it's going to last longer. Now there, there you do, there is a little bit of sentiment you can see on the bottom. So I am going to go to the hardware store and get some ball bearings and put it in here. And I'm going to monitor these, but I think, you know, I'm going to mix them up and I'm going to enjoy using them. So, 
Here's one that I've already mixed up. And you can see, I don't know if you can see, <laughs> I only put in, you know, basically maybe a, a centimeter, half an inch of water in there. I'm not mixing up a whole lot. And the reason for that is I don't want to have a whole lot. I want, if I, if I need more, I can always make more. So these little bottles I got, I think a two pack at Dollar Store. I've seen them since. So I'm just adding a little bit of water. And this is just plain tap water. You can boil it if you want. And then I'm just going to take and I'm going to put four squirts to start. Now this is muted green. And I'm just going to grab a piece of just plain copy paper for now. Oh, that's a lovely color. If I want it a little bit darker, and this is, you know, your own personal choice. So you can make several colors of the same and have different intensities, or you can layer it up and make darker and lighter ones. So here's the muted gray, which is more purple. But look at the... So I'm just gonna go ahead and mix up more of these and I'll probably put this on fast forward so what I'm doing here is just adding mixing up sprays for all the colors that I have and I'm just adding a little bit water I did learn that if you put too little water um, it just doesn't spray quite right, so you need a certain minimum amount of spray in the bottle. But I'm definitely not going to fill the bottle up, because a little spray goes a long way. So I'm just, I grab a couple stencils, and I'll be doing more of that later on, so you can see the sprays in action. Because they are ink, and they are liquid, and they are highly pigmented, they blend really easily with the water. You don't even have to shake them up much. Um, with the exception of the bronze, there was no sediment. So even when you go to grab them, you're not, I'm not finding I need to spray them. So when I'm going to clean the stencil, I'm just going to spray it with my Murphy's Oil Soap and wipe off the acrylic ink spray. Easy peasy. It could, I could let it dry on that. It's not going to impact the stencil, but because I typically I'm going to store the stencils or put it aside, I don't want them wet. To, and if they dry, they might stick together. So, and it's really easy to do at this stage. It doesn't require a whole lot of information. So I am simply testing the sprays and the colors and experimenting with them. Now, if you have different colors, of these acrylic inks and whatever brand I'm sure works the same way. I could mix a blue and a yellow and get another green. So you can mix, you know, mix colors and really end up with a lot of variety in your sprays. Here is the bronze and I love how that looks.
Now I need to label my bottles. So I'm just dipping the paintbrush into the sprays and painting it. I've got the circle one that's going to have the label of the color that's going to go on the front of the bottle and the little rectangular ones going on the lid. So when it's sitting there, I can easily see the color and grab it just for ease of use. So once this is dry, I will get my micron pen and I will label the circle ones so I know what color they are. Because in the bottle, the muted gray and the muted violet look almost identical. And so do the blues. But when you spray them, you get a different color. And that's what I want to know quickly and easily. So in a minute, I am going to test these sprays about three to four weeks after I mix them. I wanted to see if they started to clog or had any trouble. So there you have it. We have all the sprays. Now, if you look, you know, they've been sitting for a while. The metallic, you can see the sediment that's there. So I'll keep an eye on this one. This one I may, you know, mix up a small amount, spray it, put it on various papers, and then put it away because I think it's going to clog because look at that. It's definitely doing it. But none of these really seem to have much of a sentiment sediment going on. So I'm thinking they may be good, but I will keep you updated on that. As I said, it's one month later and I am spraying using the sprays to get to know my stencils. And I'm going to put a link to another video where I'm going to talk about positive and negative prints. But basically, this is just the fast forward version and I will save that information for later. So here I'm just spraying through the stencil and then often as you see people doing with the stencils, taking it and you can, you're not wasting that spray. You're putting it on another page, the next journal page or some coffee filters or whatever you've got nearby, but don't waste that spray that's on the surface of the stencil when you spray through it. When you're spraying through a stencil, you can use one color, you can use multiple colors, you can bump the stencil, move the stencil around, you can do all sorts of things. And, you know, I think I'm going to talk about that again in other videos because this one is more about the sprays. More about how these acrylic sprays worked. And one month later, I did not have any trouble with any clogging of any of the paints, including the bronze metallic one. Now I'm going to keep an eye on those sprays and see what happens over time. As I said, when I did the Martha Stewart acrylic paints and craft paints, when I mixed them with water, yes, I got a permanent acrylic spray, but within a very short time, they clogged the sprayers and I wasn't able to use the spray any longer. The stencils you see are the brand new ones from TCW. You can go through the TCW site to check those out and it's in the description box below. If this is close to the beginning of 2020, you probably won't find them in Amazon because it takes a while for them to get there, but they are well worth looking for. So I think it's a win. I like the sprays from here, the permanence of it. You know, two weeks, they're in the bottles, they haven't clogged. The only one I'm going to have to really watch would be the bronze because it's metallic and it does have sediment in it. So, um, you know, I'm going to watch that. But I think, you know, in the short term, if I keep them on my desk and keep them close, they will get used. 
I definitely would buy some other colors. These are muted, um, which I like, but sometimes you want to have those bright colors. And if you watch my channel, you're going to see that. 